Hello everyone. So now in this lecture, uh, we are going to cover uh, the different types of electronic transitions. Up till now, in the last lecture, what we have seen was a uh, spectrophotometer and its working principle. And before that, we have discussed Lambert's Beer's law already. So we could easily relate the Lambert's Beer's law with respect to the spectrum of the compound. That time I told you that we have to take sample in a cuvet along with a reference solution in a cuvet. And then uh, you discussed that why there is a need of a reference compound. At that time I told you that uh, we need to uh, get a base peak also and we cannot rely on theoretical readings so we need to go for a practical reading so whatever light is coming and passing through this cuvet it is not necessary that it remains same obviously there will be some difference and you can call it as a transmitted light so for that i said that there are certain transitions which takes place due to which the light gets absorbed here and whatever is absorbed it is not reflected so whatever is transmitted that percentage transmittance will tell you how much is absorbed let's say if you say that 20 percent light is transmitted so the percentage transmittance is 20 percent and that directly means that the 80 percent light is absorbed but what does it do after absorption so that is what the main thing after absorption it actually undergoes the transition so in this lecture we are going to focus on different type of transitions available and that too electronic in nature as I said there were two different levels as I said that there is a rotational transition at the same time there are vibrational as well and then third one is your electronic so the energy required for a rotational transition is less than it followed by vibrational and then less followed by electronic so which type of transitions are possible you can see here that the molecule do possess orbitals which are bonding and which are anti bonding these are the ground state and these are the excited state but in between there you have a non-bonding electron also which actually does not take part in the bonding so you may call like lone pair of electrons in this particular non-bonding case so here you can see that there are variety of transitions possible and in uv light we are majorly focused on pi to pi star and n to pi star transitions as you can see that it requires that much energy which is comparatively less and the wavelength is more so i'll tell you how this transition helps in finding out the structure of the compound so let's meet in the next lecture thank you